Hey, good morning. Whatever time you are watching this at, it's morning for me. It's like uh, 9.15 a.m. on 8 29, 2024. Um, so I was making these videos. Welcome back to Dave Wright. I'm Dave Wright, Dave Wright, the capitalist.com. I got two YouTube channels, but this is the one where I talk business and stuff. And I'm starting to realize like the market's really oversaturated in these videos. So it's going to be something where if you're here, you're here for me. So I'm going to kind of show you the daily hang of what I would do. Uh, in a in a day with this business. Again, the reason I love the Amazon as a way to generate income is because you can put a little bit of work in and reap the rewards a couple months in advance. Uh, you can plan it out. You can like work hard, hard, hard for a month straight and then take like two months off and have the stuff trickle in or you can work calmly every day and just build up this beast. Basically, you're just feeding Amazon. Uh, today, we're going to do something a little bit different. So as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel here and go over to my website, Dave Wright, the Thinker, my philosophy channel, which I'm promoting. And please follow me or subscribe to me on my YouTube channel for the philosophy channel because I need to build that up so I can start unlocking some of the benefits of YouTube. I'm going to be turning that into an audio cast as well as a video cast. So once I figure that out, this will be back in. But anyways, any of the software and some of the stuff that you're seeing today, there's discount links here on the main page of my YouTube channel. Please take advantage of those. You'll get a couple free weeks in many cases, and it helps me support the channel. But more often than not, uh, it's not a huge kickback to me. It's not something that I'm going to survive off of. It's going to give you a couple of weeks to save some money so that you can get a business off the ground. So that's, that's what's more important. As always, comment any questions you may have and I can help you out. But I'm going to do a couple of things this morning. Here's my main account. Uh, and when I log into my main account every day, I just click on this real quick. I see that I have $5,756. I could request this money. I can hit request disbursement, and this will go into my account within 24 hours. So you want to check your funds. You want to go over here to your performance and to check your account health. I have no issues with my account health. If I did, I would have a red uh, number here, and it would tell me what it's for, and I would have to take care of those violations. And then lastly, I want to talk to my customers. Do I have any feedback? I don't have any feedback from my customers. If I did have negative feedback, I would see if it's something that I need to take care of. I would message the customer, but I'd also probably request to have it removed because I want to keep this five-star rating that I have right now. Uh, and then I respond to all the five stars. Uh, once that's done, what I wanted to do with you guys today is walk you through how I would pack up some of these materials behind me. Um, and that's pretty easy. So if you've never done anything before, so if you're going to start off scanning in stores or you're going to start scanning like locally or you're going to use a site, I mean, you can strategically do this. You can go to Walmart and you can check the clearance section. You can go to Goodwill and, and check for certain stuff. You can sell used items on Amazon. Um, New sells better, but you can sell used items at a discount. You can also go to a site called BrickSeek. And I don't know if this is for, still free, but this used to be free. And basically, if you go to Brick site, BrickSeek and you sign in. And I, I'm not even sure you have to sign in. I think you have to sign in to get some of the stuff. You can literally just go in here and check for deals in your area and look for today's deals. Come on, today's deals. Oh, this must be featured deals right on here. Okay, here it is. And then uh, you could look at the retailers. So let's just go to, there's 160 Home Depot deals. You could go to any of the, the majors ones. But here's some stuff at Home Depot that's discounted right now. 
So if you were to find something on this page, it's local. You could go buy it. And well, first of all, you would try to find it on Amazon and see if you could get a big enough discount that you can make a profit. But this is inventory here that's locally. So like, just give you an example. Summer is ending here in New Hampshire and we're moving into fall and it's pretty drastic, right? But the South is not moving into to fall right now. So they still need certain gardening supplies all year round. My local Home Depot, my local uh, Lowe's, my local Walmart is going to start selling outdoor stuff at a discount because they don't need it anymore. Uh, and they need to get it off the shelves. So a lot of times I can go in and get fertilizers, gardening supplies and stuff like that. It's a huge discount, sometimes a dollar. And then sell it at the regular price of five, six, ten, twelve dollars. And people buy it online because they're in areas of the country that aren't experiencing a cold fall. I mean, I, so it is 829 today. And I last night it was 50, 55 degrees. It'll get up to 75 during the day today, but that's the, the highest we're going to get in New Hampshire right now. So a lot of that stuff is going in discounted sales here. So these major companies need it off their shelves. Other people need it, and it's rare. We just take it, we repackage it, we ship it, we send it down to them, and we're doing them a service. So anyways, this is break seat. This is something you could do local. And if you found some stuff local, there's other ways to do it. You can go in and scan stuff with the Amazon app right on your phone, and it'll pull up uh, a thing. But if you find that stuff locally, then you're going to need to ship it. And I'll show you how we're going to do that in a moment. But um, let's, what would I do? So next is I'm going to go through my inventory real quick. So this is a software called Be Cool. I don't know if I have, I don't believe I have uh, a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, affiliate link with them, but maybe I'll reach out to them and see if I can get you guys a discount for a couple of weeks. But Be Cool is AI software that looks at the current market, looks at the current prices on Amazon and adjusts the price so that you have the buy box. When you're shopping on Amazon, and let me just pull up, this is your shopping experience, right? Uh, let's see, I actually sell sell some of this stuff here. Let's just click on this right here, right? This right here that you see, this is the buy box. This price right here, the $24.38 is the buy box. This is what the sellers are fighting for. And if you scroll down here, it says other, let me scroll up right above my head here. It says other sellers. You can click on this and you can filter by other people doing Prime. So there's actually one, two, three sellers that are around the same price, 2438, 2438. This guy's pretty high at 28. This one is in stock, so you would get this on Saturday. I would get this tomorrow. This one, oh, not tomorrow, it's today, Thursday. Yeah, so I would get this on Saturday. This one is looks like it's not technically in stock yet. It's on its way. I wouldn't get this till September 4th. But what you're fighting for is this buy box here. It's the first thing that people see, and they usually add it to their cart. This software does that for you. Now, I have a particular system that I'm using based on how long a product's been in. And uh, some of these products I'm taking a loss on. They got tanked. This, this Rio game, I think Amazon hopped on the listing and really lowered the price. Yeah, buy box owner is Amazon. So these were selling profitable, and now Amazon's got them way down low. They claim they only have three in stock, but they have many more in stock than that. Um, so until Amazon sells out, the rest of us are kind of in bad luck. So I've kind of been holding on to them. I guess I got to drop the price again. So the way I have this set up is this level 13. The top price would sell for 20%. I'm going to drop it down to 10%. This is going to readjust my top price and my bottom price. And then I got to adjust this to the next tier of 14 and save it. 
And let me take that off the list. Next, these are also, so this is not getting any buy box rotation or so it claims. It's saying 0% buy box rotation. Uh, let me actually do one more thing here. So this, I also have a discount code for this below. Um, oh, actually, I, no, I want to do it through Amazon. So let's open my Amazon account here. Close this. If I go to manage orders, this is showing me everything that has shipped. If I go to the last seven days and I want to go to the ACE in here. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to look at this particular product. So even though it says I don't have the buy box, it doesn't mean that it has it sold. I'm going to put this ASIN in here, search it up. I've only sold one of these in the past seven days. And in the past 14 days, I've only sold one. So this needs to be dropped again. So we're going to take this down from 12 to 13. And I'm going to take the top price and I'm going to lower it to a 20%. Now, the software is automatically going to lower that one when it adjusts the price for me based on the way that I have this set up. And maybe I'll do a Be Cool uh, tutorial one day, but today is not that day. Uh, these are FBM, so these are just going to stay here. If I'll move the camera here. I have some inventory in these boxes uh, packed up, ready to ship. And I keep them so that people can still buy them Uh fulfilled by me but once my inventory in amazon depletes these are already shipped i throw some labels on them and they go out the door um next i'm getting 9.3 percent of the buy box here so this one's probably doing okay let me just look at the let me just look at it here see what we're getting so over the past seven days, I've sold 32 of these. So these are flying off the shelf. So I could probably, I could probably raise this this one up to a tier two, which would mean I'm going to take this and start it from zero to. Actually, I forget what the tier is here. So let me pull up, pull up. Let me just pull it up over here for me. I got some I got some secret data on this sheet I don't want you you animals to look at. It's got I got my personal spreadsheets here. What's my price tier for this? So we would start at 10 10%. So it's just going up from 0 to 10. And this is also going to adjust that up by 10%. And the purpose of that is I'm like really in the groove. If, if I sold in the last seven days, I sold 32 of these. I could probably raise the price a little, um, make a little bit more money and slow down that, that, that sales rank. It might be priced a little too low. Another one here, Atlas Games Gloom 2, 0% buy box. So let's just see. We're going to take this ace in here. We're going to put it in here and look at the past seven days. We sold one. Past 14 days, we didn't sell 14. I'm trying to do a minimum of one a day. So same thing. This is getting lowered. And I'm in a predicament right now because... These are, I got a lot of board games and stuff and a lot of toys in that Amazon jumped on the listing for Q4. So they tank the price because they can get much more competitive prices and they're not paying any Amazon fees like I am. So I have to pay an additional fee and got to compete with them. Um, we got some Pokemon here that are in the same boat. I do think eventually I'm going to hold these Pokemon because the price will go way up once you can't get those anymore. <laughs> Um, let's check this. So as Q4 enters for Christmas, though, a lot of these toys are going to start to go wild. And I might actually raise these prices uh, back up. So 
Doesn't look like any of these have sold. So this one, what's going on with this one? What is, did somebody tank the price? Because these are selling like wild. Okay, so the owner of this listing is back on the listing. And they have lowered the price substantially. So we got to get it down to that 21 mark if we want to start selling. So I'm just going to lower it by one and we'll worry about that next week. So I do this on a weekly basis. So I slowly raise stuff down and slowly bring it up. The other way you can do this is if you go into, and maybe I should show you, maybe it'll be easier to show and not tell. When you're in your inventory on Amazon, you can go into your FBA inventory here. And you can do right here in the middle, it's going to say inventory age. Let's click on that. And you can look at stuff that's uh, six months or older. So these are all items. These two SKUs are over six months. I'm actually trying to sell stuff before 90 days. So I have nine SKUs that are still in stock after 90 days. So I got to get rid of these because I'm starting to pay storage fees. Um, and if you go into, and this one, I do have a link, it's called seller board. So this is how I track all my profits. We're going to go into my seller board account here. And AI is your friend. Technology is your friend. People are so scared of it. I run a whole business here because, uh, and I wouldn't be able to. If I didn't have all this AI and technology, I wouldn't be able to afford to compete with Amazon and run this business. Uh, so when people say, oh, uh, oh, Amazon's stealing jobs, it's like I literally wouldn't be able to run this business without software. Okay, so I'm gonna, I want to look at the last seven days. Uh, no, what did I want to pull that out for? Oh, I want to look up the last like 30 days, for instance, right? And I'm going to take that particular item that I was just looking at. No, let's find, which one was it? One of these here. So let's take um, this fan, the final girl starter pack. Let's put this in here. This is over 90 days. And so we'll paste that in there. Select it and hit filter. And wait for it to come up. So this is going to show me my profit and how many sales and everything. And then if I go into here, I think I'm sold out of these actually. But if I go into a cost of uh, Amazon fees, um, it'll show me here my storage fees. Uh, let me rate. Can I raise this up over my head? Uh, let me see here. I got to move my face for a second. All right. My face is moved. So if you can see this here on the Amazon fees and the referral fees, storage fees. So FBA storage fees was $1.92 and FBA unit fulfillment fees were zero. So these are out of stock now, but I was starting to pay storage fees. Let me find uh, something that's still in stock. These Gloom 2s. I know I talked to a customer about them yesterday, that they're still in stock. So, same thing over here. Follow me over here. If we go to more and we look at the Amazon fees, we can start seeing that I paid 83 cents in storage fees. Um, so, these are slowly getting to pay fees. They add up quickly as time goes on. Uh, so, you want to... You want to move that inventory so you're not paying storage fees. But back here. Okay, so we lowered that price. Next, I'm getting nothing on these. Now, these are selling. So here's what this is telling me that I have no buy box rotation. But I know if I click on this and I go to my recent sold, manage orders, ASIN, Yeah, over the past seven days, I had nine orders. Over the past 14 days, 
I had 10 orders. That's right in the price range. So this is where I want to keep it, even though Be Cool is telling me that I don't have any buy box. I know that it's doing okay. All right, next, Renaissance, uh, Renegade Games, and you just keep going down the list here. So uh, that's one way to do it. It's telling me no buy box. I got 17 of these left in stock. And over 14 days, I sold 11. Over the past three days, I sold three. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them right around there. They're still selling on the long, on the long haul. This one, I got full range. So this one's saying that I have the buy box almost all the time. So I'm guessing the price is just high, which is slowing it down, or they're not selling that many. So... Four orders in seven days and seven orders in two weeks. I'm going to keep it there. Actually, let's do this here for you. I'm going to, we're going to take a little break. We're going to take a little break. <laughs> and then go to my videos here. I just released a, I'm going to treat this like a stream. I just released a video about, how I did a thousand in profit on analyzer tools. Let me fast forward to here right before I find some of this stuff. I'm going to play this video for you guys while I use the restroom because I got to use the restroom and I'm going to treat this like a stream. So as low as 18 and you'd be paying $24.99. So this doesn't look like something that's going to fly off the shelf on eBay, but you could since they're not available and there, if this is as popular on eBay as it is on Amazon, I'm not saying that you couldn't build a good listing, but I think it's a lot more work um, than it's worth than it's worth doing. So we check, we see this price is good. They see there's a 57 minimum order quantity at 370. That's pretty cheap. You pull it up. What are we looking at? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is? Basewood. Maybe this is for like model planes and stuff or woodworking. Okay. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Let's see what it sells. One, five units a month. So this is not selling a lot. So I just going to put uh, low ranking and rad. So we've looked through. So just to begin with, this particular software went through it and looked for all right we're back you don't have to watch my stream and this stream anymore but if you want to go check out this video it's entitled amazon success thousand dollar profit thousand dollars in profit in under an hour i made this yesterday using a, a tool called uh, analyzer tools and if you go to the main page of my youtube channel you can get a discount code for analog analyzer tools but we're gonna go back here to be cool. And again, this is just how I manage my daily activity. In a moment here, we're gonna we're gonna get behind me and I'm gonna show you how I pack a couple of these items. So stay tuned for that. But I appreciate you hanging out with me this morning as we do a little Amazon business here in a very relaxed atmosphere. I've been drinking like four of these. I've already had two and a half of these this morning. And I'm trying to like drink my regulated body weight worth of water in a day to feel better because I've been a little bit tired lately and it's really helping. I think I was dehydrated because I've been running in the heat so much. So almost done with the be cool here. And let me know, please comment below if you'd like more videos like this, the, the hang and the understanding, or if there's a boring and what I should do differently. I mean, it is the internet, so I'm sure you'll let me know. All right, so these are fine. I'm going to keep these right there. Actually, let me just open them up and just look at the pricing for a second. My AI has them at $79.49. And if I go down to the data here, this is Keepa. This is an extension 
Uh, I pay for the full version, which is $20 a month, but you can, and maybe I should see if I can get a discount offer for you guys on that. But you can use the free version to start and uh, price history, data, product details. All right, over the 90 days, they were 9206. Average price was 74.69. So 79 is a pretty good price for these. These are rare. And let's see what my competition's up to. Yeah, so oh, Amazon's on the listing at 79.99. So that's why we're getting slowed down. Let me see if Amazon is sharing the buy box. Amazon sharing the buy box with me 40% of the time. So all right, so I'm just going to leave them right where they be. Uh, these were selling really well, but they seem to slow down. So maybe somebody dropped the price on these. So let's go here. We're going to manage these orders. Again, 14 days I've only sold one, and in seven days I've sold 22. So we're going to lower the price on these from eight tier 8 down to a tier 9. So they were making a 60% profit. Now the top end, they're going to make 50. So yeah, let me pull this up real quick. Let me show you a little bit about what Be Cool does. So basically what's happening here is you put your, in this mark here for this particular item, they cost me $21.19. And then when I pull this up, it's showing the product cost here. The additional cost is $2. So that's for like labeling and shipping. You put that in there. The reason I separate those two is because if you could find them elsewhere and they're giving you free labeling and free shipping, then you, you, you're you not comparing apples to apples and oranges to oranges. But then that'll show me that my estimated profit is around $11.59, which is a 24% margin and about a 50% return on investment. So for every dollar I spend, I make 50 cents. For every $100, I make $50. When you hit this button here, it just recalculates it if you change any of those numbers. And you hit save. And then the AI will create a bottom price and a top price based on the curriculum that you give it here. And there's all different ones. You, there's some beginner ones here that just lets you boost it, equalize it, depending on how you want to compare. Once you get better at it, you can start creating some other techniques. And then this price will change here. So currently, when these sell, I spent 21 say $22 each, and they bring back nine and change, so a little under 50%, about 40% each one of those I'm making on my money, which is a lot better than putting your money in a bank account. The only thing that comes close is uh, cryptocurrency. Um, and I take most of the money and profits from this and put it into crypto anyways. So on to the next item on the list here. Again, this is just a hang. If you find this boring, please let me know below. But uh, I was thinking maybe you just put this on in the background as an Amazon person or if you follow along and you watch it, you're going to learn something you didn't know before. And if I were to just make a video explaining stuff, I'm probably not going to encounter real life situations where if I show you my day to day, problems will occur. And then I will know how to solve those problems for you. I will explain it and then it'll be in this video. Um, it also, it shows you a little bit of how tedious it can be, but also how realistic what a realistic day goes because this is a pretty relaxed day. Um, so these seem to be selling again and they had stopped. I got the buy box like 88% of the time. So let me see. I am competing with somebody here. Um, so I'm going to keep the price right there and just sell out of these. These T's were selling super quick, but they've slowed down as well. The competition, I will say, in Amazon has become um, uh, more difficult. And I would say that's because um, people are tightening up on what they're purchasing. 
So your price has to be really good. It has to be right where it needs to be in order for them to buy. So when you could kind of wait it out for a little while in the past, uh, it wasn't such a big deal. But now people are, are just getting more finicky, but also the storage fees have gone up for, you're basically buying real estate for Amazon, from Amazon to hold these for you, renting or leasing it. That's gone up. Their prices have gone up to climate control everything. Their workers' hours are more expensive. The gasoline is more expensive. So the shipping has become more expensive. There's a whole bunch of reasons why uh, these products are going up. So demand is going down and the cost to get them to people is going up. So these are actually selling again. In the past seven days, I did four. In the past 14 days, I did seven. I'm going to keep it right there because this is a rare item and I got pretty much control of the buy box. Actually, let me try to sneak this up to 11. The reason being is 11 is my break even point. So some of these items I'm just getting rid of at a break even point or a loss point. And the idea of a business is not to make perfect decisions where you're profitable all the time, which would be great. And, and I used to be like that with this and not take any risks. But now I'm in a situation where I can take some losses with some items and then take some big wins with other items. Like I risked it all on this part this particular item right here. There was nothing in stock. And now I'm making well over 100% on these. Let's see. I'm making... Um, these are making 130% return. So that's more than covering the fact that I took a risk on these and these are breaking even. But I wouldn't have bought either of those had I played it super safe. Um, this particular item, I keep trying to remove. So let's show you how to do that. I'm going to go to manage all my inventory. I'm going to put a SKU in here and hit search. It's showing that I have one available, but I don't, it's not letting me sell that. So we're going to go over here and we're going to create a removal order. And now we have this uh, one item is not available for removal. Can we liquidate it? We can't liquidate it. And can we donate it? No. Okay. So that one's stuck in limbo for some run for some reason. And uh, until it's unstuck, I can't get rid of it or destroy it or whatever. Uh, Gator Framework Deluxe Desk Mount. Okay. So this is a, this is a used item. So if you keep, there's something I will say. So I used to have, I use this mic arm now. Here. Let me show it in camera. It's this little small mic arm. It's got a balanced weight that sits on the desk. I had been using this arm here. Um, and I liked it, but it wasn't clicking to my desk properly. So when I moved it around, it was coming loose. So instead of just throwing it away or whatever, I'm putting it back on Amazon. I'm going to lose a little bit of the money, but instead of losing all the money, I, I just lose a little bit of fees and you can put it on here as used. So it hasn't sold yet and it's a pretty popular item. So I am going to drop the price again and let's start it at, oh, so I got to pull up my, that that's the issue. That's the issue here. So let's so it's at let's keep it at fifteen. And fifteen starts at zero. So let's go to sixteen. And that starts at a minus ten percent. So as a used product, you gotta figure out how low you can go, but close to the new to the new item so it takes a little bit of time but if you keep all your paperwork all your boxes and stuff and you do amazon you can get back into reselling some of the stuff you use and many of items many of my equipment that i tried to use didn't like or didn't need i kept the boxes and i was able to resell on amazon instead of taking complete loss on it so now this is all updated i'm going to get out of here for a second and now 
we're going to manage inventory and I want to start shipping some of the items behind me and send them into Amazon. So let me show you how that's done. So let's go with, what do I want to go with? I'm going to go with these wind instruments here. Now I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to do these, show you one box with these wind, wind instruments here. So, ah, hitting the microphone. So if we go, I'm going to type in wind. You are the wind beneath my... No, let's type in uh, click. The name brand. Okay, so here is the item. And it's active. And I'm going to click on active. And then I'm going to select this. And I'm going to click... Uh, send replenish inventory. So this is new. They just updated how this works. So once you select the items here, it's going to tell me what I want to, I click the bottom thing here and I'm going to select send replenish inventory. This is going to bring me to the Amazon shipping page. And let me move my head around here. Actually, can I scroll this up? Yeah. So let me move my head down. Let's move it all the way down here so I can get everything here. So you can see that, so you can send these in as individual, right? And if you do that, you're going to figure out which box that these, that these would fit in. So you would go through some, you have all these items, you're going to go through a box and try to make them fit. It can be time consuming, but if it's something you do over and over again, I actually have a uh, some things set up here and let me show you i can fit 11 of these in a walmart medium box and i can fit 16 of these in a walmart large i currently have 3 6 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so i have 15 of these so those top two are actually clarinets so I can't make the Walmart case, but I know that 15 of them was gonna, is going to fit better in a Walmart large. So I'm still going to do individual. The number of units is going to be 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I actually have 13. Um, 15 would be the top two. All right, so let's do 11 in a medium and then worry about the other two of those afterwards. Let's see if I have a medium box over here. So let me just click on this really quick. So first things first, we got uh, 12, 13 labels that we need to print. So if you print the SKU here, you're gonna do 13 of these, hit print. And these are going to download here. You open this up. These are what the labels look like. We'll hit print. And I'm going to select my printer. And let's see if this printer is actually still connected. Sometimes these Rolos will disconnect. But if you can see here, actually, let me open you up here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So only twelve of this, but for some reason they were crooked. But if you can see here, these are the labels. But it's not a huge deal because as I looked on this screen, we're just gonna do a medium box if I have one, which is eleven units. So let's see if we can get this in focus back here. Should be autofocus, but this is a medium box, even if it's a little out of focus. So let me move this. Maybe the chair's catching, catching on. So one thing.
thing I do use here is this. Uh, this has got glue tape in it. It's a dispenser machine. So all I got to do is box that very quickly like this. Now I'm going to figure out that I need, what did I need on these? 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Those two I'm going to get rid of because for some reason it printed crooked. I'll have to do that in a minute. Now you're going to look for the old UPC and you're going to cover that up. So you got to take this label and you're going to put your own UPC on there that tells Amazon who's who and what's what. So we got one. And I'm just going to go through real quick and cover all these up. Real back breaking work here, people. If you've ever roofed in July or did construction or work warehouse, this is much easier. So now these are going to go into the box here. Looks like I can only get 10 in here, but I got 11 in here in the past. So, what happens if you put these down like this? Did I not get 11 in here before? Do Tetris. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of these into that medium box. Let's seal it up. Remember, you got your Amazon labels on there. Now, if you're buying stuff from the store, it's going to come with a store label on it. One thing you can do is get yourself a heat gun such as this and put it on a lower setting so you're not melting the stuff but you just give it the label a little heat and then you can use one of these little I forget what these things are called but they're basically little scrapers they got a name for them sound off in the comments what's the name of those little scrapers I think they're called like uh, I want to say they're Beans with a J, but I'm not sure. Now, if you've never, if you've never sent them out before, you're gonna have a scale. 
And now you would be weighing these particular items, what that box weighs. But, 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 let me go back to my other view here. But I know that 11 of these, because I've done this before, that box is 19 by 14 by 17. It weighs 8.6 pounds, and I labeled them. So they are ready to ship. And then you're going to confirm and continue. Now, you could do more of these. I'm just doing one box at a time so that it doesn't get super confusing. And now it's going to give me some different choices. I can... Today, I'm going to go to UPS and drop these off today. So I put today's date. For 352, I can keep it on the East Coast. Central would be 418, and the West is 539. I'm going to keep it on the East Coast uh, because they're selling well on here. It's going to let me know that it's 1309 plus the placement fee. So it's 1309 total to ship in 11 of these. So what you want to do is a couple things. You're going to take this content here and you're going to go over to Be Cool and you're going to look up your item. So here's my item and I have an extra fee in here of an additional $2. And if we go back here to the seller thing, we know that I have, it cost me $9.57 plus one of those Walmart boxes. So that's $2 for the Walmart box. So $11.57 divided by 11. It cost me about $1.05 to send one of these in. I'm going to keep it at this $2 because for some reason these other ones are more expensive. Maybe they shipped, Amazon had me ship them East Coast, the, uh, the Midwest, and out to the West Coast. So it averaged out. But that's how you would get your price. And if this was your first shipment, you would put that extra dollar five that we just calculated in here so that when you're figuring out your profit and losses, it does that for you. Now, Sellerboard is going to pull that for you automatically. So you don't have to do anything with the profits and losses on Sellerboard. It would pull up this item for you. And it's going to show you under your Amazon fees. Let me move this here. It's going to show you inbound transportation. This one over the past 30 days cost me $27.16. So it's going to pull that for you. So back here to the main screen. We got all that. We're ready. We're going to accept the charges. Boom, boom, boom. I'll show you how, what that looks like. You're just hitting a little accept the charges button here. Yeah, let's move my face up top. Just taking a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. So now, if if you uh, if you don't if you don't have a label printer yet, which you might not, you can print these on your. Um, you can print a label that looks like this, and you can put that on eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, and you could tape that with just regular tape to the side of the box. Once you get a thermo printer, you're going to print labels like this. And let me move that over to my, moving all this stuff down in, in real time, people. And then let me just check. And I, I got a feeling this is not gonna print, but. Okay, it did print, perfect. So you're going to get a couple of shipping labels for Amazon. That look like this. Let me get a focus here. You're going to get one label that is for FBA. That's the in-house label for Amazon. And you're going to get one for UPS. The Amazon label goes on the left hand side here that's for when it gets to the warehouse they can scan your product in 
Why is this just not? Why you no focus, huh? And then the other one, if I turn on all the autofocus stuff, what ends up happening is, or maybe it's focusing it on, on the chair. If I turn on all the autofocus stuff, the camera overheats. And then the other one's for UPS. I'm just going to do a little bit of So now this is all set. So now you can drop this off to your local facility. The UPS people are going to scan this. The Amazon warehouse is going to scan this. This is going to go into the warehouse, and then it's going to start being sold. And you're going to start managing that, how I showed you here with the, the price setting with the Be Cool. You can manually do that at first. And the last thing you'll do, once all the labels are on there and it's ready to ship, you're going to hit view this tracking details. That's just going to finalize the order for you. And boom, now you have a tracking number and an ID. It's confirmed. Um, and you would move on to your next piece of inventory. If I was going to pack something else for my inventory, I'd go back here and pack it. Um, so remember, if you liked any of this stuff, please, please uh, comment below. Check out my YouTube channel, Dave Wright, The Capitalist. Also, head over to my philosophy channel. Connect with me on BitChute, uh, Rumble, Twitter, YouTube. I have a lot of fun on Twitter, so don't take any of it personally. It's all jokes. It's all meant to get you thinking, but this is my philosophy channel. Uh, make sure to take advantage of these links here for discounts for yourself if you're going to get into Amazon selling. I hope what you understand is I just did 51 minutes roughly, and I talked you through it. I got a, I did, got a, did an hour of work today, right? On, but I also found those products in the future. These are my skills that have been built up. So I'm, I'm not selling my time. I'm selling my skills and how I've done this. And now I'm filming this on top of this. But that box right there, uh, what did we determine? Each one of those is going to approximately make, uh, looks like $8.99 right now with the market. So it's $8.99. Uh, $8.99. Times uh, 11 is 90, about 100 bucks. So that's pretty much out the window now. An hour of work for $100 minus finding it and all this stuff and recording this video for you. But instead of exchanging time for money, I'm exchanging my skill set. Uh, and then you, you can find other products like this that are a little bit more efficient. So maybe I'll do another one of these videos. Let me know if this was helpful below. I think I'm going to do uh, some analyzing tool stuff after this. So I'll make more videos about how I can find the wholesale stuff that you never touch. You find it online, you talk to a salesperson, they ship it for you, they label it for you, Amazon gets it in the warehouse, Amazon, Amazon ships it, Amazon does all the customer service, they do the returns, uh, they do delivery, they do the pickups, and then they pay you for the skill set of finding those valuable products, the difference between what you paid and what the customer paid in your skill set is that profit in between. So, okay, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for your time.